Verse 9. And they came to the place which God had told them of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. So they came to the place. It's always a place. <laughs> Yeshua always found this place to worship. The Garden of Gethsemane. And so they came to this place which the Lord, Yah, had told Abraham, go here. So Abraham went there and he, 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 he prepared the altar. He laid the wood in order. <laughs> he come to Isaac and he bound him. Isaac didn't struggle, didn't put up a fight. Didn't say, hey, hold up, Dad, what you doing? <laughs> Father, what are you doing? He didn't question it. He laid him on the altar upon the wood. That's how the Lord Yeshua, he was laid on the altar. <laughs> he was nailed to the cross. He didn't struggle. He didn't fight. He didn't resist. The Old Testament and the New Testament are in agreement. Yeshua, he's coming to save his people. He's not coming back for everybody. This is representing Yeshua, what the Lord was going to do for his people. It's not what he was going to do for the rest of the world. So when you get to John 3.16, you take the scriptures out of context. But God so loved the word. Everybody like to say that scripture. God is Yah. Yah is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the most high. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who he's the God of. He's not the God of the world. Everybody in the world. He. He's the God of the world, but he's not the God of everybody in the world. He's only the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So when he says he loved the world, he's not talking about everybody. He's talking about his people. But people don't understand that. They take the scriptures out of context, and they try to make it fit their cup of tea. If he's talking about everybody else in the world, it's taking the scriptures out of context because that's not what the scripture says in the Old Testament. He, Yeshua came to save his people from their sin. Old Testament and New Testament. That's why he came. He didn't come for the rest of the world. What about the Gentiles? Go back, re-study, research the scriptures because you're taking the scriptures out of context. You don't know who they're talking about when they say Gentile. You think they're talking about everybody else. That's what Jesus said. You think you know the scriptures. But there are they which testify of me. So you're taking the scriptures out of context. Israel is a 12-member nation. It's 12 tribes. It was divided into two kingdoms. The Apostle Paul always made reference to Jews and Gentiles. He's talking about the two kingdoms of Israel. All the 12 tribes of Israel were not Jews. That's what people fail to understand. They want to classify all 12 tribes of Israel as Jews. They don't want to say, oh, the lost tribes. They ain't lost. The Lord knows where they at and who they are. <laughs> Only two tribes were classified as Jews. That's Judah and Benjamin in Jerusalem. The rest of the ten tribes were not classified as Jews. They were Israel or Ephraim. But when they sinned, the Lord scattered them among the Japhet Gentiles. And they were no longer referred to as Israel or Ephraim. They were referred to as Gentiles and heathens in Greeks, in uncircumcised, uncircumcision. And so when Paul made reference to Jews and Greeks or Jews and Gentiles, he's talking about the two kingdoms of Israel. That's why it's important to understand the context of Scripture and keep the Scriptures in context. 